Good evening. I'm Chief of Patrol Fausto Pichardo. Standing here with me today is Deputy Chief Phil Rivera, the Executive Officer of Patrol Borough Manhattan North, Deputy Chief Brian McGee, the Commanding Officer of Manhattan North Detectives, and Captain Anodi Castillo, the Commanding Officer of the 26th Precinct. The information I'm about to provide is preliminary and subject to change as this incident is only a few hours old. Earlier this evening at 6.50 p.m., police were called to one St. Nicholas Terrace for reports of a person shot. Upon arrival, both uniformed and plainclothes officers made their way to an apartment on the fifth floor. A sergeant approached the apartment, which had its door open, and observed a female lying on the ground, bleeding heavily. The sergeant identified himself as an NYPD officer and gave commands to an individual, later identified as the subject, who was engaged in a violent struggle with another male. The suspect was given numerous verbal commands to show the officer his hands. The suspect, armed with a knife, attempted to stab that male. The sergeant then discharged his service weapon, striking the subject in the torso. The officers immediately called for an ambulance and rendered aid for the suspect and the victims. The suspect, a male 44 years old, was pronounced deceased at the scene. Also pronounced at the scene by EMS was a 45-year-old female victim. A 39-year-old male with stab wounds was taken to an area hospital where he is listed in stable condition. Also in the apartment was a 41-year-old female who was uninjured. A Glock 9mm semi-automatic gun and a 12-inch kitchen knife were recovered at the scene and are currently being processed by the crime scene unit. Again, this incident is only a few hours old and I can only take a couple of questions. Do you believe this to be a domestic incident that they got in the middle of? That is under investigation. Well, uh, we'll get back to you with the exact knife. The knife itself is 12 inches in length. What was the relationship between the people involved? That's still in its preliminary investigation. The uh, suspect have any prior record or anything like that? Uh, we'll get that to you once we conclude with the investigation. You want more, guys? Anything is fine. Over. We're going to set up our office. Chief, Chief could you talk about this? So they arrive, and there, there's sort of an active fight going on between the suspect and the other victim. Is that, that's what you're saying? So they, they see the woman unresponsive on the floor, and then they, they actually witness this fight for life between these two men? That's and correct. Could you elaborate a little bit on what they... It, it, it appears that it's a violent struggle on the ground, and I stated the sergeant made numerous verbal commands for the, the subject to show them his hands. And once that individual was going to continue to attack or stab the victim, Sergeant discharged his firearm, striking the subject. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you for your patience. Thank you, Chief. Thank you.